Does anybody recognize this vinyl record? This is the album Thick as a Brick that was released by the band Jethro Tull back in 1972. It's a progressive rock album. It really uh, proved that music can actually be used as a vehicle for examining socio-economical, geopolitical questions. If I were to give this to you guys, would, do you guys own a turntable where you guys can play this and enjoy the music? Does any, any one of you guys own a turntable? So just one. So congratulations, you guys have failed the audiophile test. <laughs> well, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna fix that today. Uh, but first I have to say I'm an audiophile. And I have been one for as long as I can remember. The first time I became an audiophile was at the age of 10. That with the aid of my uncle, I put together an audiophile system that consisted of a pair of good speakers, a good amplifier, and also a cassette deck. Although I got to say my audiophile system these days is a lot more complicated than what I used to own in the past. But who are audiophiles? Audiophiles are people who establish a very tangible, a very organic, a very authentic, a very romantic, a very palpable relationship with the music they listen to, and they also care about sound quality as much as they care about music. So we have to make a distinction between the music industry and the entertainment industry. So we're not talking about the entertainment industry, we're talking about music as a form of art. Now the two are not really ships passing at night, there are some common denominators. Music that is written from a point of view of an artist uh, may contain some elements of entertainment, but that's not the sole reason as to why the artist wrote that piece of music. When Beethoven or Mozart wrote their fifth, uh, fifth or 40th symphony, they didn't write them to impress anybody. They didn't, write, they didn't make any concessions or compromises to make their music commercially viable to their audience. They wrote them to convey meaning, philosophical messages, emotions to their audience. And that is the main distinction between music as a form of art and music as a form of entertainment. But let me cite some lyrics. Hit me baby one more time compared to the legends worded in ancient tribal hymn lie cradled in seagulls call all the promises they made are ground beneath the Sadie's fall. So the latter was from the, from the album Thick as a Brick. So there's a the main difference. So the other thing I pointed out was audiophiles also care about the, uh, the sound quality as much as they care about music. So audiophiles should kind of prioritize their budget and spend a little bit of money actually on putting together a proper system because they believe that the music they listen to deserve to be listened to through a good system. And by good system, I'm talking about three main components. So we have the main component uh, is actually the endpoint. We also have the bridge and we have the primary source as well. The primary source is a bit more exciting. But the endpoint is a pair of speakers. What I recommend is to go for a symmetrical stereo system. Two speakers, you don't have to do 5.1, 7.1, or Dolby Atmos that you have speakers coming from the ceiling, coming from the floor, coming from the back and behind. You don't have to do that to create an immersive audiophile experience. You can get away with a symmetrical stereo channel. The bridge is actually where uh, you transfer your signal from the primary source to the endpoint, which is a pair of speakers. So that can be a receiver amplifier or it can be an integrated amplifier. I recommend going for an integrated amplifier because receivers tend to have video processing capabilities, but you're audiophiles. You're, you don't care about video, you care about audio. The primary source is uh, where I actually gravitate towards to spend my most amount of money. And that can actually come in two different forms. It can be in the form of a digital source, it can be in the form of an analog source. Analog source to me is a superior format, a vinyl. So you have the album in front of you, you have the art cover, you have the lyrics sheets, and you have everything. You can experience the music in its entirety. Whereas in the digital format, when it comes to especially streaming, it's something uh, like a digital representation of the music on your smartphone. You don't actually get to experience the whole thing. Like the album, you take the vinyl out, you have the lyric sheets, you have everything. It's a form of art. It's not like a digital representation. So in conclusion, what I want to encourage you guys is to establish, to interact with music actually on a more intellectual, on a more philosophical level, and uh, for Christ's sake, put together an audiophile system and enjoy music in a more tangible, in a more organic way. So would there be any questions from you guys as far as how to put together an audiophile system? Otherwise, I have to refer you guys to my YouTube channel where I talk <laughs> even more extensively on you know, audiophile, how to become an audiophile and uh, how to uh, interact with music on a different level. Thank you very much.